What's up guys? In this video, I would like to give you not just the answers, but the solutions to the last set of logic puzzles that actually had answers and uh, I gave you a couple videos back. So let's dive right in to the bat and ball problem. The bat and ball problem said that a bat and a ball together cost $1.10 and that the bat cost exactly $1 more than the ball. How much did each item cost? Now, since we're talking about money here and money can essentially always be broken down into cents, and cents are essentially the same as the set of positive real numbers, or integers, I should say, we can apply the properties of algebra to this problem and use it to find a solution to the problem. So what do we know here? We know that the sum total of both items is $1.10, or 110, as I have written up on the board there. We also know that one item cost 100 cents, or $1 more, than the other item. Now since we're using one variable relative to another in this equation where we have se seemingly two variables, we can write out the equation as x plus x plus 100 is equal to 110. This is going to serve as the equation we use to find the value of x or the value of the ball and since we know that the bat is just the ball plus 100 or 1 dollar, uh, it's, we can easily find the value of the bad after that, or the cost of the bad after that. So we're going to go ahead and start off by simply removing the brackets around the x plus 100 because we can, because it's commutative, uh, and make it 2x plus 100 is equal to 110. Now simply by the properties of basic algebra, we can simply subtract 100 from each side of the equation. Uh, and that will leave us with 2x is equal to 10. Because we had 2x plus 100 is equal to 110, if we subtract 100 from both sides of the equation, we wind up with 2x is equal to 10. Because 110, $1.10 minus 100 is simply 10 cents, or 10. So now that we have 2x is equal to 10, we could simply multiply each side of the equation by 1 half or divide by 2, whatever you want to call it, it's the same thing, and wind up with the following equation. x is equal to 10 over 2. Now that we have an integer divided by an integer, we can simply evaluate the expression and wind up with the answer that x is equal to 5. So there you have it, there's the price of your ball, 5 cents. Now, simply plugging that into the other expression that we knew, that the bat costs $1 more than the ball, or 100 cents more than the ball, we can simply find the price of the ball by adding 100 to 5, or 105. $1.05. So there you have it, there's the solution to the bat and the ball problem. The ball costs 5 cents, and the bat costs $1.05 both summing total $1.10, satisfying our property that the bat had to be $1 more than the ball, and all is well in the mathematical universe. Now on to the knights and knaves problem. 